So I was saying earlier that cross account rules are another thing that is used with um, STS, the security token service. So let's talk about why we would want to make cross account rules. So the whole purpose of them is to allow you to grant access uh, a user from another AWS account to resources within your own account. Um, and the advantage here is that you don't have to create uh, your own, uh, like a user for them in your own account. So here's an example where we have account A. So I have an account in that one and their account B wants to grant me access to specific resources. What they're gonna do is create a role for me, uh, which is a cross account role. And this is gonna grant me access. So how, do, how does this role actually do that? Well, there's a policy that's attached to it and um, to that role. And it's granting me access um, to assume role. And so we said that STS, the security token service, is what issues those temporary credentials. And we saw there was a bunch of actions, one being web identity assume role, the other one being assume role. So assume role is what is granting us access cross count. This happens seamlessly, so you don't have to do anything. Um, but yeah, that is cross count rules.